What's going on guys? This is Kevin with Arnold Prince, the channel that helps your business grow. Would you like to know about if your business is really a business or considered a hobby? Think about what the IRS thinks and think about what's going to make you money. Let's get into it right after this. So check it out. I have a business, or at least so I think it's a business. Maybe it takes me 45 minutes to do one thing and I only make $10. Is that really a business? No, it's probably a hobby. Why? Because you're only making a small profit range if you're even making a profit. So this is what I found with a lot of people starting at home businesses. And that's why we've kind of made this channel to help people grow, get them in the right equipment, and help them out with any business or even printing business. So we own a screen printing and embroidery shop since 2013. We've grown this business from minimal margins, maybe 5,000 in one year, and now we're past $100,000 a year in gross sales. So how did we do this? This was a part-time job. It's now a full-time job. And now we're starting to scale even more than we ever thought. Do I consider myself an entrepreneur, some may ask? No, I do not because I haven't made it to the part yet to where this business has all the systems in place and the growth has started to skyrocket. Everybody uses the word entrepreneur and they think basically I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur. They see an entrepreneur as somebody who is successful and who has made it. 90% of you have not. That's the truth. Have I made it yet? Not in my eyes. I made it when I meet my goal. My goal is to make this company run smooth. Without me, I can sit on a beach and collect paychecks. That's when I have become an entrepreneur. Other than that, I'm a business owner. I have a business that is able to make a profit. It's able to make a profit, restock, and make more scaling profits for the future. The purpose of a business is to potentially sell down the road without me working in it and make money. Nobody wants to buy a business with just one person or one operator. And why is that? because there's no value to that. They want something that they can grow without you and it has the ability to run by itself with systematic processes and automation. If you don't have that and you're doing all the physical work, then you just have a job. If I left my job for $25 an hour and I now print for $25 an hour, I now have a job, I have a business that I have to pay for, I have more liabilities and that is not worth it. The potential is possibly worth it, because of the growth you can have. Now the growth you can have is based off of a few things. Are you able to get out of the printing and have others come in? Or are you able to have others come in and you do the printing? It depends on what your passion is. My passion personally has gone from the printing to the marketing, the scaling and the relationships with the people around us in the businesses. We now do consulting for other companies on how to make their websites, how to do the branding, as well as just how to print it. Branding is huge. You have to be able to print to brand and you have to be able to show it well. Email market, social media, everything is using images and print of some sort. If you go to a show, you need a banner, you need business cards, you need an emailing campaign to figure out how to capture those individuals who made it to the show. And that's how you create a business. Now in a hobby, you basically you wake up, you say, hey, I'm going to do a few things on this today. Maybe I'm going to turn a couple cups, put them on. Now, if you look at some of this stuff, epoxy cups, a lot of people are selling for $45, right? So $45 may encompass two days of work as well as expensive epoxy and the exposure to possible chemicals. Is that really worth it? No, that becomes a hobby. Now, can you mass produce 100 cups? on a bunch of turners and do it in two days and make money, then that could become a business. But just doing one or two cups and taking you two days is a lot of lost time. Your time is the most valuable thing that you will ever have. You only have so much time on this earth. That's how valuable it is. And think about this. You have maybe 80 years on this earth, God willing, 90 plus. There's a time frame. Everything ends. So. Every day ends, 24 hours, as far as I know, except for maybe, you know, you have these certain, you know, jumps in time or whatever you have going on. But, but look, guys, 
you only have so many hours. So I look at it and I say, I have about 10 workable hours comfortably. After that, I get sloppy or it becomes rushed and things happen. So if you take it and you say, I have 10 hours, what can I accomplish in 10 hours? I've got to print the two jobs. I got to maybe market, answer emails, answer phones. You can only do so much. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. There's only so much time to do so much and you need help. You can have a business that is scalable. If you now take yourself out of the equation and you are no longer doing the printing, but you're becoming the visionary on the track to becoming an entrepreneur, you are coming up with systems and processes to streamline things to maximize time. Time is probably the most valuable over what the garment costs or any type of industry that you have. Time is super ex expensive. You look at what you have to pay your employees, how much time you have to produce. I only have so much time to produce and if I run out of time every single day, I'm limited. The ceiling is here. It is stuck and I will never pass it. You have to find out how to automize the processes and make it automatic so that it can happen on its own or with a little guidance and hire people in places to do the job. So what we see a lot of companies do is they have scaled fast. They have grown to great numbers and they're on the track to make it somewhere great, but something happens and they get scared or nervous. So what happens? You want to go back to your comfort zone and every business, no matter if you're a multi-million dollar business does this, they go back to the comfort zone and then what happens? You have the same problems at that same instance that you had before you broke through the ceiling. Your growth is now stunted. You will always stay right here because you only have so much time. You only have so much manpower. You will never grow any further than what your capacity is. It might be 10% more, but even if it's 10% more, at what cost? Are you running faster? Are there more potentials for mistakes? Sure. With every increase in speed, there's always the guarantee that there's gonna be a mistake and you'll have to pay for it. It's the same in healthcare. You start going fast as a nurse, you start making errors and you could kill somebody. That's the reality of the things. Every industry, you're making a plane and you're rushing it out the door, boom, the plane has a bolt that comes out and you lose air cabin. It, it happens. So think about that. What is my capacity? What can I do day in and day out and not burn out? That's the key. If you're doing this all by yourself and you burn out, your business is done. Because if you can't come into work, nobody else will and your business will fail. So my word to you today is to think about is my business a business or is it a hobby and is it profitable? Do I have enough money that I'm making off of something to one, pay for it, say it's $10, $10 more to restock and another $10 to pay myself back. That is profit, 300%. So most online shops, we say 300 to 400% and that's what you need to see in order to really have a business that's scalable and able to grow for the future. If you don't have that, you might not have the growth. And I'm sorry, it's just the reality. So if you're looking for more tips, check into our channel here. Like I said, just the honest truth and we try to be as transparent as possible on what's going on. And we're trying to put more videos out. We've just been really busy at the shop. And like I said, time it takes us about four hours to do a video as most of you probably know. And we hope you get great value out of this content and stay tuned. If you have any questions about business or if you need any consulting help, if you're trying to get to the next level, just leave a comment down below or contact us at sales at arnoldprince.com and we'll be glad to get back with you. We've had a lot of people reach out and we've actually made phone calls back to them to help their businesses out and I think they're doing well. So till the next time guys, this is Kevin with Arnold Prince, the channel that helps your business grow. Make sure to like this hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.